Hi YouTubers, RV Debs here with you. It's Monday afternoon, we're having a rainy day, which is really nice. I'm gonna show you some of these close up in a few minutes. But let's start with an interview to two really special people in my life. Here we are sitting in the kit, it's the dining area of Kathy and Mark's home, looking at the bird feeder because these are two bird lovers and animal lovers and at our dining room table. That's right. We get to sit and have dinner. This is Kathy. You all know Kathy. You know me. And this is Mark, oh. her lovely husband. And these are two really really special people in my life. They let me get over here and make myself a little home on their property. So, forever indebted and grateful. Today, I thought I would do something a little different. I'd interview you, so I'm going to sort of stop talking for a minute. And let's start with, should we start with Mark? Yeah. And Mark, just tell them who you are, how old you are, or whatever you want to tell them about yourself and why you're in Texas. Hi, I'm Mark. I'm 62 years old. Born and raised in Florida. We moved here to Texas because Kat's son Lee, sons Lee and Nathan are here. We came out just to visit and loved it so much, we came out as well. So, And that's why I'm here, because you're here. Mm -hmm. And Kat, got anything to add to that part of this? Yeah. Um, well, I don't really need to know my age. You don't have to tell me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a little older than him. Uh, Mark and I have been together for about 11 years, and we've always enjoyed nature, uh, hike, uh, nature walks, hikes, uh, birds, butterflies, well, all that stuff. And uh, we started in Florida. He would cut out the, the wood uh, in the shape of whatever we drew out, and I would paint them. And we did quite a few things in Florida, but uh, here in Texas, uh, we stopped. But just recently, we thought, how can we make a little extra money? So this is what we came up with. And Mark is working with a, a lighter wood, uh, a thinner wood, and he'll cut it out, and Birch. I paint it. Let's see the thinness of it. See? So it's easy to hang on the wall. We have a lot thicker Doesn't ones. weigh a lot. One-eighth inch birch. Yeah. Okay. It's very sturdy. So we had a conversation a few weeks ago, maybe mm -hmm. about a month ago, and um, Mark was thinking you know, he was working locally at one of the family right. members' establishments and it was killing his back it went out and it's just real bad so you know he's like i'd like to make extra i'm, I'm gonna miss that extra money that we were making and i said well what are you gonna do and he's like i'm gonna sell stuff on amazon i'm gonna find an item i said well, what do you love to do and he answered woodworking and i'm like right you love woodworking and kathy is like pretty much a talented in many ways she can paint make jewelry She's very uh, creative when it comes to making finishing touches, which really helps. So that's why I said, why don't you guys start making some cool things and we'll sell them on Etsy. And so they have an Etsy shop now. What's the name of your Etsy shop? Cat Mark Market. Okay. And I'll put a link. Of course, I'll put a link right below. Yeah. And um, let me show you some of the things they're making. It's again, it's the, of the stuff I'm showing you now is birch wood. This is not finished. Right, this is just, it's just the start of yeah, making it. Yeah, it's not done. One thing about making these things is you have to layer and layer until finally yeah, it takes it's time. got a little bit of uh, dimensions to it. And he's also cutting out metal. That's the back side. It's tin. Yep, it's good for somebody who's in Texas. The state of Texas. I just have to put the star on it. Yep. So that's another item that he's doing, which is beautiful. And if I turn around, and you guys can explain what each one is. First of all, let's show you this one. Tell me about that one. That's the little butterfly Mark cut No, this out. is uh, the hummingbird. I mean, I meant hummingbird. It's okay. Uh, and I just uh, I looked at a picture so I could get the, the details to make it look realistic. And uh, I enjoyed it. It, it, it looks takes beautiful. time, for sure. Okay, let's go up to this one. And that's my favorite, the blue jay. Yep. It's really nice. Yeah. Look at the feet. She made them out of wire. She does a very nice painting job, and he does a great job of cutting it out. And then yeah. this is my favorite, although I like them all. And this is a butterfly. And it's so light. I could put it on my RV walls, which is what another thing about yeah. this. Very that the the now, these are a little bit, little bit more different because they have a plaque. But the plaques are made by They've got too. little... Um, 
cool little uh, what do you call it an right. antennas and Antenna legs. legs all made by takes wire. time beautiful job and last but not least that's a golden finch and it has it, it's gonna be glazed you, you still haven't put the sealant on but I make the plaques in yeah so Mark make, makes every part of it not just the butterfly and all but the, the wood around it all that's been handmade stained and just amazing to me that you know who wouldn't want something like that so I am here sitting with my best friends Kat and Mark and you guys know them from a lot of my videos but we're trying to do something for them today and let's talk about the Etsy shop that you'll find the link Kat, below Kathy and Mark and I wanted to discuss your Etsy shop a little bit what can people do let's say they have an idea and they they want maybe a different bird a woodpecker or um, a, a cardinal or something like that just email us with your request what you'd like uh, the size, the color, the type of bird, whatever. Right. And we'll we'll talk about it and we'll see what we can come up so with. So that'll be right through your Etsy shop. So that yeah, would be the right way to get a hold us. of you. Yeah. There'll be a link below, of course, in my video. But um, once you can uh, get to their a little Etsy shop, you can see what they've got. And uh, if you see something that you'd like but it's no longer available. Yes, we're open to special orders. Exactly. Exactly. So, Mark, tell me, what kind of, um, wh how do you cut these out? What do you do when you start to make one of these? What's the first thing you do? Well, first thing, I, I draw them. I look at a picture in, say, an Audubon book or something, or download on the computer a picture of the creature I want to do. I draw it out to the size I want. Then I cut it out on a bandsaw or scroll saw. And then Cat paints it. So it's it's, it's, it's a, like a, it takes paint. time. Yes. Yeah. After he's he's uh, cut yeah. it out, he makes sure it's sanded. There's no rough edges. Nice and smooth. Yes. And, and on uh, the hands it over to me. On the uh, the wooden items, the indoor wooden items. This is one eighth inch birch. And this is a butterfly in progress. He's not done yet. It takes yeah. a lot of layers to make that. But it's it's getting there. The outdoor items, I do some in wood as well. But this is ten. This is the state of Texas, so uh, I still have to put this, make a star on it. Can they get their state if yeah, it's an have, interesting yeah, shape? You have, you have your state yes. you'd like me to do? Let me know if you want it in wood or tin. Okay, and the wooden ones for outside are thicker wood? Yeah, a little thicker wood for the outside. Okay, so expect that the, the, the postage would be a little more. Yeah, they're painted with, with the exterior paint. But we're going to show you in a, in a few minutes, you'll see on the video here, all the different ones that they've made for their home. Those are not for sale, but you know what? Taking orders, they can make them because you like your birds. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's hard yeah. to it's hard to sell stuff you really enjoy. We made them in Florida, so they're they're staying. As a matter of fact, speaking of that painting there, I sold it, so I got to take it away from them. <laughs> but you yeah, get used it, to it you do like nice your stuff. It did have a good home. Yeah. I'll replace it with something else. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed getting to know Kathy and Mark a little better. And um, we are family here. We have family night every Saturday night. So you see them on my videos. And it's so much a great, I'm so full of gratitude because I would have, I don't know what I would have been doing, but I'm really glad I'm here, part of your family. So let's end this video and you'll see some more designs and what they've done right after this. And I hope you do visit their Etsy shop and find something you just can't live without. It makes great presents, great for RV walls, and of course, apartments or houses, that little place just that needs something. So, thanks for watching. Chickens. Hey, girls. They're happy girls. So, this is uh, basically the wall here Excuse on the, the garage that and Cat put their original birds on, so you can see the different ones. And they're all very different. There's a woodpecker. And we got pelican, I think. Another blue jay. I'm not sure what that is. Keese, goose. Yeah, so if you like, you get an idea that you want a bird for the outside, that's a little different than the ones on the inside. They're made a little thicker. You can see the thickness. I'm going to go inside to the garage where the magic starts. And he's got lots of, this is a manly, manly area right here. <laughs>
tools, heaven. Mark's been a plumber. What else? You just you do it all. This is the scroll saw, so that's something he uses to make these. And this one? A belt and or disc sander. A disc sander. See, I don't even know. And then you've got your big baby. Yeah, big band saw. The band saw. And a nice space. I'm really proud of these guys. They worked really hard to put this together. And that's it. And there's another uh, Texas shape. Pretty cool. I'm glad you guys took the time to watch today. Hope you enjoyed it. <laughs>